Hey, let me remind you of something that you already know, but maybe forgot. Your spiritual growth matters. It's important. God cares about you growing up in maturity and looking more like his son, Jesus. And guess what? Our spiritual growth should also matter to you and to me. It should be something that's wildly important in our lives. Another thing that we should really know is this, is that it's within reach. We can grow spiritually. It is achievable. After all, would Jesus say, hey, come follow me, be like me, if he wouldn't also give us the grace to do that? He does do that. And so it's important and it's within reach. And you and I should be about that. You know, Jesus, when he started his ministry, told his disciples, hey, guys, come follow me. And there, right initially, they had to take that step of faith, leave what it was that they were about before, and make this the priority in their life. The most important thing was taking those steps day by day to follow Jesus and become more like him. You know, that ancient path of following Jesus is still available to you and I today. In fact, we want to walk down that simple path this summer, and we're inviting every single person to come and be a part of that with us. It's not real hard. It's not real complicated. It is pretty simple, but it takes daily intentionality to do that. So what we're asking is that over the summer, we would take three steps over three months and that we would surrender ourselves to the Lord in these areas and see how he will go about transforming us. These steps are the steps of devotion, they're the steps of family, and they're the steps of neighbor. And so I want to unpack those for you real briefly and say this, is that when we talk about devotion, we know that Jesus told us that you can't grow, you can't produce fruit unless you abide in me. And so when it comes to the step of devotion, what we mean is this, is that we want every single person to take at least 15 minutes a day alone with the Lord. Get alone with God and his word and study the scriptures and see what he will tell you during that time, what you will learn about him and who he is and what he has done and be reminded and have your mind renewed and you will be abiding in him and you will grow spiritually. You know, for each of these steps, we have some extra tools that we're going to make available to you. And one of those tools for devotion is an acronym or a tool that we call SOAP, S-O-A-P. And so if you're new to this, let me encourage you to use that. Find the resources that we have on that and put that into practice. And that'll make that step super achievable for you. What's the second step? Glad you asked. The second step is this, family. You know, God didn't mean for you to grow alone. In fact, it's really hard, almost impossible for you to do that. And so what we're wanting this summer is for you to grow in the strength with your family. Now, I know every family looks different, but in general, here's what we mean by that is that you would gather your family together every day for five minutes and you would pray. You would spend time as a family unit praying and sharing your faith with each other and praying to God. And it could be that you're a mom and a dad with multiple kids and you're gathering everybody. It could be that it's just you and your spouse and you are praying together. It could be you and a roommate that is praying together. Or for many of our uh, believers here at Belmont, it could be that you live alone in this season of life and you might pick up the phone, call a friend, a fellow member here at Belmont and say, you know what, during these three months, I'd like to commit to praying together with you on the phone, through a Zoom call, whatever that might look like, through a text message even and say, let's pray together, hold each other accountable and let's grow together in Christ this summer. Third step, what is it? Neighbor. You know, Jesus said that loving your neighbor was one of the greatest commandments in all of the entire world. And so it should be important to us. You know, it's easy for us to live next door to somebody for months or maybe even years and not even know their first name. Let's don't let that happen this summer. The challenge is this. Choose one neighbor 
that you can bless over the summer. We've got some easy step-by-step -step tools that you can use to put that in practice so that you can begin to pray for your neighbor. You can listen to their concerns going on in their life. You could perhaps share a meal with them, serve them in some way, and then eventually be able to share your God story with them. Wouldn't it be cool if over the course of the summer, God used you and the work that he's done in your life, the story he's given you, to lead one of your neighbors to Christ. That would be so amazing. So it's a simple path to follow, three steps over three months, devotion, family, and neighbor. I hope that you'll walk this path with us here at Belmont. In fact, if you are, do me a huge favor. Send me an email at path at belmontlife.org. If you do that, you'll receive a coach that'll come alongside of you and help you and say, hey, guess what? Here's some resources you might need. If you have any questions, man, we would love to answer those for you. And also, it'll put some people in your corner that are praying for you as you walk these simple steps, as you walk down this path, following Jesus in discipleship this summer. Thank you so much for jumping in and doing what it takes to be more like Christ. You're going to be really surprised at the outcome.